The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Fulta's life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. If the elves could be believed, it was there that free folk from all around had assembled beneath Vergen's banners to resist the Kedweni invader. I should mention the exceptional individuals who made up my fellowship for this important quest. I usually get nervous around Scoyatel. I see them as scoundrels and murderers and find their presence outright unwanted. But I must admit I was glad to have the help of Yorveth and his infamous bunch, who could prove highly helpful. Help, helpful, that's not nice. Highly useful then. men, burned to ashes in minutes. I remember the stillness when the news reached of Engerberg, the palace, the streets, the houses, the entire capital cloaked in silence. The cries were here, every last man. I was somewhere beyond that hill, in the middle of the massacre. What is your intention, Saskia? I intend to stop Eden from being sold. We cannot afford a war with Henselt. Don't look we must parley. Leave issues of war to me, please. Concentrate on King Hensel. Yarpin Zigrin claims he's short-tempered. Provoke him to strike, and we'll negotiate once the battle's won. I still cannot fathom why the nobles betrayed us. Spit on the nobles, Prince. They've meant nothing since the day my peasant force scattered them on the Diffney. By the good deity Creve, my lord. The girl is a demon incarnate. Firstly, the girl has a name. Secondly, she's the best commander I have. All others have betrayed me. But she's a monster. Creve spoke to me in a dream. I saw a snake-like she-demon devour your heritage. Silence, Olcan. We near the meeting place. We shall sign everything, Your Majesty. As you. We have guests. Welcome, Stennis, son of Damavend. I invite you to join. Greetings, Henselt. You seem at home in Edurn. You are here, yet I do not recall inviting you. Ferret did so in your stead. I'm here at his behest. I've broken no truces or treaties yet. Oh, is that so? Mr. Brogan, please escort Count Ferret to a secluded spot and remove his troublesome head. Don't you dare, boy! You're no king! Your father! My father is dead. The folk still mourn him while you betray his good name and his country. Your Majesty, I must request your protection. This young man has lost his mind. Take him away. Your Majesty, what of our agreement? I need you no longer, Ferret, now Stennis is here. Anyone else wish to object? Wonderful. To the matter at hand, then. Well said. I will show you my hand. I have over 200 armed men encamped nearby, enough to hold the fort for several hours. Another 5,000 battle-hungry lads await on the other bank. What say you to that? There'll be 5,000 dead lads should you move against Vergen. Take time to consider, boy. These are border marches, a mere piece of land. Relinquish it to me and you'll keep your crown. Oppose me and I shall crush you without mercy. Give me Lomark and return to Vengerberg. Do you know why there are no Marquises in Edirne? We've no marches to speak of, let alone to share. This is Upper Edirne, my fatherland, my subjects. A wolf pup should think twice before growling like a bear. I'll not be intimidated, Henselt. 
Perhaps. Is it possible you merely play the courageous cockerel, yet deep inside fear eats at your heart? Is one push enough to send you over the edge, or must I push twice? Try me. I tire of this discussion. I have the upper hand and no amount of scintillating talk will change that. We both know I'll not leave empty-handed. What do you propose? Withdraw your forces across the Ponta, and for all time relinquish any claims to Upper Eden. Whoa, hold there! I don't believe you understood my query. What will I get out of it? Peace. You mock me? You think this is a game? You just talked yourself into a war, you little shit. Don't threaten me. We came here to speak. Enough of your prattle! Draw your sword! Saskia. I'm ready. Care to dance, your majesty? in the name of Kreeb, Freya, and Militele. The milk of Mother Creatrix's tits, Geralt of Rivia, and are the best company to boot. Yarpin Zigrin. It's been years, you old prick. It's great to see you in good health. Geralt, staring as if you've seen a ghost. Muster up a hug for an old friend! Geralt's head's not exactly on straight. Ha! Meaning he truly did in, Foltest. Fine by me! Foltest was a plowing niggard and a niggardly plower. You did right, Geralt. Not the point. Geralt's lost his memory. And I didn't kill Foltest. Right, right. What's the difference? Someone did. But we're bigger problems now. Where's Saskia? Oh, aye. Why is this butcher here? I've come with a hundred archers, the best in the world. We're here to aid your cause. Well, you'll need to wait. Saskia and Prince Penis, sir, uh, rather, Skinnis, went off to parley with Henselt. Me and the boys are waiting in case something goes wrong. Uh The sun's gone dark. Call the sorceress! Come, Geralt.
Philippa. She'll show us the way. Yorbeth, you've got some explaining to do. My elders, blood, brains. Silver harms them. I'll cover you. Clergy, help me! Shut up, Juan.
flying through fog. Saskia, are you all right? It's just a flesh wound. You and the Witcher, we owe you our lives. I'm here to protect you. And you, Witcher? I'm after a Kingslayer who kidnapped Triss Marigold. And brought her here? Is this an interrogation? There are warrants on your head in Tamaria, Kedwin, and Redania. And I'm responsible for Saskia's safety. That's enough, Philippa. You told me yourself you thought him innocent. Saskia, folk are riled. First the sun went out, then the squirrels arrived. Now this fog. It's too much for the common folk. True. Summon all the commanders to the meeting hall. Yorveth, give me some time. I must prepare them for your arrival. Witcher, Philippa, you must be there too. I wish to hear what we can expect from this anomaly and how we might be rid of it. Worry not, Yarpin. The legendary White Wolf and the equally famous Philippa Eilhart should have a remedy for several hundred rabid wraiths. I want to see all commanders in the council chamber. Philippa, that includes you and the Witcher. Cecil, the gates are to remain shut until we're done. You'll answer with your beard if they open for any reason. Welcome to Vergen, Witcher. I'm Cecil Burden, the Alderman, Geralt of Rivia. We've got a spare room at the inn. It's not much, but uh, at least you'll have a roof over your head and a solid bed neath your ass. Thanks, I could use that. Scalen, show Master Geralt to his quarters and visit Reverend Alkin's chambers on your way back to inform everyone that uh, he has departed. That is, that he died a hero, slain by the invaders. Exactly. You see, Master Witcher? He's young but clever. We'll make a real dwarf out of him yet. This shall be your chamber, Witcher. They say Selkirk of Gullet himself slept in this bed before battle. Didn't bring him any luck, but at least he was well rested before he died. Need anything else? Thanks, Skaven. Since when do noblemen fight peasants? Sign of the times. Saskia treats the peasantry as our equals. And once you let a dog inside, it will never sleep in the doghouse again. But that's not for me to judge. The point is, you can make good coin on fist fights. Care to give it a go? Any rules to this? Each contender puts down his stake, which rises the more fights he wins. If you want to fight, put down some coin. Up for the next fight, or are you just going to stand there and go? A worthy contender, please. For starters, you'll fight a novice. Stand and fight, but first, show me your coin. In that case, betting is now open! Fight these balls! to the flailing and someone with a touch of finesse. The pool is yours. You're moving up the ranks, sir, just like your winnings. Ready for another fight? Worthy contender, please. The better the opponent, the better the fight. The better the fight, the higher the stakes. The higher the stakes, the bigger the winnings. In that case, betting is now open. Fight these balls! Don't be afraid of him! Fight these balls! That was a sight for sore eyes. Beautiful fight! Congratulations on your win! You're moving up the ranks, sir, just like your winnings. Ready for another fight? 
worthy contender, please. Excellent. This is the strongest lad I know. He's knackered many a plow horse. The fortune he's made in his fist fighting career makes many a nobleman green with envy. Place your bets. Hurry before it's too late. In that case, betting is now open. Slug it between the eyes. to the flailing and someone with a touch of finesse. The pool is yours. A wonderful show of strength, precision and agility. Seems there's no one left to challenge the new champion. You couldn't be more wrong. Sir Silbrandt. It is I. Funny seeing you here. You've always claimed such fights were a primitive diversion for commoners. A true knight duels another in the exquisite company of ladies and real gentlemen. Oh, I... I'll never forget the great achievements of Selkirk in the Tawnees. On many occasions did my brother prove his greatness. Alas, the world's going to the dogs. Today a knight must challenge commoners to prove his bravery. But there's a witcher among you. And though his blood is no match for mine, his warring master is satisfactory. Perhaps, when he drops to the ground at my feet, you'll realize I'm not merely Seltkirk's brother. I'll be known as Silgrad, every witcher's worst nightmare. I challenge you, witcher! The wager is two sacks of gold! Believe me, Silgrad doesn't challenge any old serf. You want to prove you're your brother's equal? Show me what you're made of. Stand and fight. Stop stroking him and wrap him up! Besides, it was only a fist fight. I'd rather have died at your hands. It was an honest fight, just like you wanted. You failed to understand. My reputation is ruined, my honor gone. I thrashed you and won a pile of coin. Not sure I care about your reputation. We'll meet again. Silgrat forgets no insult. Congratulations to the victors and thanks to the vanquished. You proved your mastery, Witcher. Fighting you is an honor. Let's tend to the pool. Stop stroking him and wrap him up! Geralt, right? My uncles told me a lot about you. Nice work with those spectres. And Saskia? Well, I wager the gods didn't think you could save her. Your uncle? Cecil. I help him out here and there managing Vergen. Skill and burdens, my name. Nice to meet you. What'll you do when the battle rolls around? I'll be right out front fighting. Uncle Cecil's allowed it. Says I'm an adult. I'm gonna kick some kid when he arse. No fears? Of what? My uncle believes I can do it. And Yarpin taught me how to swing an axe with follow through. I'll smash a few heads. Then go to the tavern and drink till I drop. Battles are unpredictable, and this'll be your first. You'll have to kill, wade through piles of bloody corpses, all the while watching you don't get cut down yourself. Sure you're ready for this? Ah, to tell the truth, I'm shitting myself a bit. Straw dummies. That's all I've swung at so far. When I think on what's going to happen here, 
But all for one and one for all, right? Just don't tell my uncle, please. He's thrashed me a few times already for talk like that. I won't say a word. Is Cecil your guardian? Aye. Ever since my parents passed on. They took me in, fed me, taught me a profession and how to live, really. How did your parents die? During one of the massacres Demavend arranged for us. But I'd rather not talk of that. Sure, sorry. Hey, Scalen, wanna arm wrestle? I really like to wrestle, but... Uh... It's not the contest of the century, I just want to test you. Steady on! I've got conditions. First, you have to beat Yarpin and Sheldon. Who should I challenge? Those chumps. Yarpin, Zygrin and Sheldon Skaggs. What's going on around here? Aye, we've got a virgin dragon slayer. Squiddles dazzled with her. Politicking peasants, witches and a witcher. And onlookers gawking at the whole thing. Hope things get back to normal soon. Hmm. Business or rest? Rest. And maybe some trading. Ah, welcome. How can I help you? I'd like to play dice poker. Fair enough, but I only play the best. If you're any good, you'll beat Bruno Biggs and Cornelius Mayer. Then I'll test you. You missed quite a scrap, gentlemen, and an opportunity to slay a monarch. There was a struggle and the prince was wounded. You've all seen the magical phenomenon covering the battlefield. For any who still have doubts, this is no mundane mist, nor a petty fairground illusion. Most likely, we're up against a blood curse, an old and powerful spell. We do not know who cast it or why. For now, I have one piece of good news and several pieces of bad news. The good news is that Henselt and his army have been halted for the time being. And the bad news? The mist will grow. It may even engulf Vergen. Furthermore, wraiths may emerge from it. Can they be made penitent? With an axe to the head? In theory, yes. But I would suggest putting your faith in a silver weapon. Furthermore, the ghosts will weaken as they move away from the mist. Is there any way to drive it off? Exorcise it? A question for myself and Geralt of Rivia. The Kingslayer? Contrary to what old women at the wells say, he did not, in fact, slay any kings. Of course he didn't. Wouldn't hurt a fly, that one. Look at his eyes. You'll see he's the sensitive kind. Whatever you may see in his eyes, few know more about lifting curses. Gentlemen, I do not require you to understand this phenomenon, but there are a few rules I insist you must follow. Here we go. No one is to approach the mist. It is mortally dangerous. In addition, we need to learn the story of the battle. For this, I especially count on the aid of Mr. Cecil Burden. At your service, my lady. Thank you. To lift the curse, we require some objects symbolic of the war. Ones belonging to those who perished here three years past. Pfft! More scrap iron from that massacre lying about than lice in Cecil's beard. I thought curses were best handled with... Please leave the thinking to me, Mr. Zigrin, and I'd gladly hear less from you from now on. The objects must be magically active and strictly linked to the ghosts of the Fallen. 
That is all. Let me be clear. You're all to aid Philippa and the Witcher. What are you grumbling about now, Yarpen? Uh, <clears throat> it's uh, something in my gullet. Take a swig of wine. Now, to worldly matters. How many are we? Saskia, you know well... How many? We dwarves are near 200. But don't judge us by our number. A half thousand peasants will come. Though you'll get no precise count. My lords? Fifty-three knights and another two hundred armed men. Not enough. Henselt leads five thousand. Five to one against us. What think you of that? We are few, they are many. But we have our walls, low though they be. If we had archers, who knows? Oh, for a regiment of heavy arbalists from Lyria! We have something better. Jorvith's elves. Scoyatel. Gentlemen, I give you Jorvith. What do you seek here, murderer? A hundred of the North's best archers await your orders, Dragon Slayer. You wished for archers? Here they are. I take no pleasure in fraternizing with elves. But even a shit-coated stick can be a weapon. He burned down the villages of many in my horde. The free peasantry is one thing, but a criminal with a price on his head in all the northern realms? This is too much. Saskia, say the word and we'll depart. Hear me out. Jorvath came to fight for me. I trust him and I know that he'll stay the course. Just like each of you. How could you know that? He's an elf! Treason runs in his veins! He's been fighting humans for a century. But for the first time in scores of years, his fight makes sense. The Scoyatel know no peace. They've died for Nilfgaard, for the Valley of the Flowers, in vain. They've been betrayed and cheated. Now they have a new goal. The Pontar Valley could be the first state where no man would have to fear elven arrows when venturing beyond city walls. And elves and dwarves wouldn't live in ghettos or on reservations. First, however, we have a battle to win. You know who we're up against. It's a splendid army, brave and well-led. They cannot be scared off or routed. They have to be killed. I want Jorvath to sit at the same table as we do. I want him to kill Kedweni for us. And I assure you that he'll do so with a smile. If only you let him. If I'm to see a smile on that skinny face, I'm in. Jorvath stays. Bloody hell. Father's turning in his grave, but a must's a must. I say I. Nay, you killed my men, Elf. Remember them? If I hadn't killed them, they'd have killed me. All right. For the sake of better times, and for Kedwin's doom, Aye! Down with the sons of bitches! Cheers! She's dying. Take her somewhere safe and guard her with your lives. I'll gather what I need and join you soon. I'll place my best warriors on watch. Quickly, lads! A letter! <laughs> <laughs> 